The showdown between Texas Governor Greg Abbott and the Biden administration over the border is intensifying. ABC's Mary Alice Parks joins us now from the Department of Justice. Good morning to you, Mary Alice. Good morning, Janae. Yes, another showdown. The Biden administration is blasting Texas over these large buoys that were placed in the Rio Grande. They say they are cruel and the Department of Justice wants them gone. This morning, the Department of Justice with an ultimatum demanding Texas remove large floating buoys meant to deter migrants out of the Rio Grande or face legal action. Saying in a letter obtained by ABC News, the state of Texas's actions violate federal law, raise humanitarian concerns, present serious risk to public safety and the environment, and may interfere with the federal government's ability to carry out its official duties. It seems as though they're wrapped in barbed wire, so if anyone tried to climb on top of them, I don't know if you've ever touched barbed wire before, but it basically can slice through your skin to the bone. Governor Greg Abbott doubling down, defending his policies in a statement, arguing Texas has the authority to defend our border under the U.S. Constitution and the Texas Constitution. But many legal experts disagree. There is longstanding precedent that says the federal government, not individual states, have primary authority over immigration and issues of the national border. They run the waters, not the states. So they do have a valid lawsuit under the statute. And the governor's just acting on his own. This back and forth coming on the heels of a letter that became public earlier this week, sent from a Department of Safety trooper alleging cruel and, quote, inhumane treatment of migrants. The letter recounting a patrol where they were given orders to push people back into the river to go back to Mexico, and also alleging troopers were instructed in the scorching heat to refuse migrants water, and describing finding migrants severely injured in the newly installed razor wire along the river. Texas DPS now conducting an investigation and responding to those claims in a statement writing, our troopers perform more rescues because they are the ones on the front lines rescuing migrants from both dangerous conditions and criminal smugglers. Encounters at the border down 30% in June, despite worries there would be a surge after policies changed in May. ABC spoke to Rio Grande City Mayor about what he's seeing. When you're looking at the wire, when you're looking at these floating devices, to be frank with you, that is a death trap. Now, the Department of Justice says they want a response from Abbott's team by 2 o'clock tomorrow, or they plan to take legal action. Whip. All right, Mary Alice, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.